everyone, Dallas Speedway for another episode of Daily Transmission. Welcome to the Burnyard. Welcome to the Burnyard. This is a channel for burnouts. They come out every Monday, Monday Wednesday, Wednesday at 8 a.m. 8 a.m. It's pretty simple to remember. We're bad at this. You'll get cool stuff like this guy who showed up. He's uh, well, he's like a brother to me, except he's kind of a. Uh, <laughs> it's a brother, <laughs> brother thing. He's a Formula Drift driver. He comes from Ireland. A bit difficult to deal with. So Dean Carnage Carney. How are you, buddy? And this is brother Emmett. What's up? So these guys are tired because they just worked on the car all night. Brought a new livery out, huh? Yeah, it's more or less the same, just freshened up the color scheme and stuff. And it was just finished, uh, I don't know, a few hours ago? Like 25 minutes ago, <laughs> they were finishing it in the trailer coming here. So I've been on the team, I know. If you guys don't know, I worked with Dean and Bridges Racing for a long time. We had some good times together, we've done a lot of road stuff together. We have done a lot of road we stuff. Together we together for too long. Yeah, <laughs> way too long. Not only do you flex on us by bringing a Viper drift car, but I see two things. Yeah, these are the two alternators that we have. <laughs> <laughs> Double the pleasure. They're for uh, charging up the turbos. What is this thing? This is a generation 4 2008 Dodge Viper. It's a coupe body style. And then we made all custom uh, front bumper, fenders, side rockers. Why a Viper? Why not a Viper? I mean, that's a good answer. <laughs> okay. We have the only two drift Vipers in the world. So. so what was the biggest hurdle with making a Viper a drift car? Damn. Da, hey, no, 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 hey. No, 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 Will Dan answer that or he was a hurdle? <laughs> Trying to get Dan out of bed on a Monday morning was the biggest hurdle of my time. <laughs> because there's no days off on Team Carnage. Dan actually done quite a lot of work on this, Dan, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, quite a bit. Can we this, pop the hood and look at it? You can. I'm going to pop it off. There's no way you're not. You're bringing this car here. We're not taking this hood off, so. <laughs> and also, if you don't know, Jose, who works with us, yeah, we was up all night working on this because he still works for Dean Carney, so. Yeah. I got like two hours of sleep. Two hours. <laughs> I saw a whole lot of sick. How much does so, this weigh? With me in it, full of fuel, it's around 3280. That's not bad. That's a lot of motor. It's a lot it's of motor. A, it's a lot of boat question, right? Yeah. I don't know that much about the FD rules and stuff. Is this factory suspension pickup points in the front? Like, is uh, that? Yeah, the turbos are pretty, pretty impressive on this car, so. <laughs> I was like really confused for a second. I was like, not sure. Is that, am I like incriminating you right now? Anyway. How did you see that the first time you said that? Was that? Oh, I don't know, man. I'm just... No, it's all custom. We, uh, we redesigned all the suspension with a company in Montreal, Canada called Moore Sport. We had it probably 90% perfected. And my buddy out of the UK, Liam Duran, we had Liam come in then. Uh, the end of the project kind of finalized everything. And engines fully built, we assume? Yeah, uh, billet mains, and obviously crank pistons, rods, cam, heads, everything. It makes around 13.50 on 16 pounds of boost. Uh, how much RPM? Yeah. 3,200 RPM, it makes 900 horsepower and shuts down the dyno. <laughs> what, at 3,200 RPM? Bonkers. What? Are those 4088s? 4088s. Oh, beautiful. As far as my knowledge goes, we are pretty sure it's the highest horsepower pro drift car in the world. Yeah. Well, considering your are <laughs> down. A little bit of nitrous there. Just 10 shots of nitrous there, buddy. Just to wake it up. <laughs> Does it need to get, like... Well, I guess not the good thing about FD, that there is no kind of restrictions or whatever, so you can do stuff that, like, you would not do in any other kind of motorsport, right. you know? There's and so that's... much stuff in this engine, man. Yeah, it's a lot. It was not easy to do a lot of this stuff. <laughs> there was like a lot of it. No room. 
anywhere. Like, look, the primaries, like, even the outlet on the turbo, like, everything is so the, tight. That's why the downpipes just come out the fender. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, we have to bring the downpipes down actually in the wheel well, which is something I'm not super keen on, just in case we get an impact on the front wheel. But, um, there literally is no room. So for a car with such a massive front end, you would think that there'd be a bit more spacious, but. You should try sitting there and you'll see how small it really is. It's like a Miata. It's tiny in there, yeah. It's tiny. And you can tell how big he is. Like, yeah. it's you not easy. Drive it. <laughs> <laughs> now we're car. talking. <laughs> Give me some butter. <laughs> going on in the cockpit, man? Let's pop so, his door open. Uh, this door is the one. Or back. the other one, whichever. Uh, we'll just go to the other yeah, one. The, well, here. That's pretty sick, too. Just got some gremlins. Fuel gauge mounted to the outside. I like that. So, on the inside, it's kept relatively simple. Wired up by Roy Wire, Harp and Dash, removable steering wheel, obviously. AM, Infinity, and Dash, and everything. We're using this new piece of technology. Well, it's not new, but it will be newer in drifting called a V-Box. It will be very common in like, so rally cross and that kind of stuff. Okay. It's for kind of teaching the driver what they're doing wrong on the track. So we have a camera on the pedals, a camera on the steering wheel, and a camera on the front of the car. And it does track uh, GPS as well, and yaw, and, and so that wow. G-force and stuff. So it can tell me, basically, I can't lie. If I yeah, come in and say, can't. I'm full throttle, they're yeah. like, well, no, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> Your crew chief's like, no, yeah. you're being yeah. a crew chief. Yeah. So. Yeah. so I noticed it's a metal door. Is the whole, no composite on the car? No, this is actually a glass door. But uh, yeah, it's composite, quarters, roof, hatch, Kevlar, oh, side okay. rockers, Kevlar fenders, Kevlar front bumper. Is that nice. a Samsonis gearbox? It is Samsonis six speed. Damn, what work did you do on this car? You said you did some I, of the cooling uh, system and stuff? Yeah, I did some of the intercooler stuff in the front end, these weird little teardrop guys out here, and then spent a lot of time, well, in the cockpit as well, even doing the handbrake setup, and this Dean hated how he fit in the old car. And yeah, the old I car was, I was impressive that he could drive the way he did in that car, because he didn't fit. So making him fit. <laughs> uh, Dean, can you get in here? I just need to see how that is possible. <laughs> well, I kind of have a bit of a glamorous way because I'm not doing something Times. All right, you make that look really easy. It, it's not so yeah. bad, but we had to put on a, a grab handle on the roll cage for getting out. Right. <laughs> you you're smooth with it. My hips. <laughs> I, come on, try it. No. Come on, come on, I want to laugh. <laughs> get in, uh, get in, boy. I want to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, the rear end took a lot as well. This rear radiator setup and everything that goes on with it was yeah, nuts. Yeah, so this is all Dan actually, Dan done the fuel cell and rear rod and stuff. And the rad lines run underneath through the trans tunnel, it's Did you really notch difficult. That fuel cell for the yeah, nitrous we, tank or is that? To, we had to notch the nice. outside case of it because we're so tight on space with everything in the car. It's crazy. None of the cutting that stuff out. Pain in the all of it. And Dean likes to throw it real hard in there, so. Also the lights in here are cool too. Oracle lights in there, so when you're working on it at night, you can see everything that's going on in there. Where these boys Smart. have a late night. Look at this so crowd over here. Left me high and dry, I had to get some guys that have glasses, so I had to put lights in there. <laughs> you got Jose, man. Jose's better than I would be ever. He actually does stuff and he doesn't complain. Yeah, well, that's true, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> All right, shut up, get Let's in. fire this thing up. Fire it up. He did that on purpose. You did that on purpose. Sorry, you, did, you did that on purpose. <laughs> so if you remember my episode, when there's a little smoke coming from the hood, you should probably check it out. Oh, there it is. There, there we go, fire. Stop, no! But it's just the heat wrap. Yeah, it's only some he, oil on the heat wrap. Because he just oh. pressed it, put it together. So we're gonna run hood off, hood off, send these tires off, give them a good home.
Yeah, I don't even think we have enough room to really open up 1,500 horsepower. I did not hear him floor it. What? No. There was no time where he laid into it. None of that. It's all just jet, jet, jet. And just like that, he killed a set of tires. Oh, he, he was making fun of the Crocs. He said, I'll take them off. Watch this. <laughs> Man, you got hit by a car today. I thought you got hit. <laughs> no, no he, did. he didn't hit me. It was close. So, a couple of quick laps, and the tires are toast on that thing. And he did not, you didn't floor it. No. What gear? Your first gear? Second gear. When no nitrous on. And it's only on wastegate spring, so it's probably 1,050 maybe. Just 1,050. <laughs> I want to see you put some stress on that thing. Set it up! We have to leave in, in <laughs> four hours to go to Orlando. Yeah. But, yeah. Quickest yeah. way to kill off another set of tires going to six gear. Well, it was funny. At one point, it got so smoky that you just I jumped just under, under the trailer. The trailer. <laughs> Crazy Irish dude, I'm not doing this. I'm, I'm gone. <laughs> to stop because he couldn't see anything. <laughs> that bug? Four, the bug <laughs> Holy, you <laughs> can't see. I can't see. Can you no, see? There's a, there's a curve. Oh, okay. <laughs> to make I think that was fifth right there and it bogged out a little bit but then he came back and did it again and uh, the tires are dead again so it's no <laughs> probably like 140 150 mile an hour jeez that might be the fastest someone's burned through some tires here that was what 120 wheel speed 150 I have no idea what fifth goes to that thing jeez. but it's a lot jeez. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> and then what you have when you have 1,500 foot pounds of torque, you just fucking roast it in any gear. And he has a valet to do his cool down laps. Oh yeah. Like I thought Dan was just kidding when he said that thing could do a six gear sitter. <laughs> That's nah, definitely yeah. the highest wheel speed we've ever had. Uh, yeah, that was a jammer. Was We're used to some smoky burnouts. He was freaking letting it rip and was like going into the palm tray area. It was literally like, I, I don't know where I am yeah. and what's in front yeah. of me. Holy <laughs> God, see. Am I driving okay? I think we're parked, man. We've definitely been scared because of a driver, but we were scared just because we couldn't see. Yeah. <laughs> we, we, Neither could I yeah. have any. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know where I'm driving, I couldn't see. Oh, yeah. Left, left, left. There's a dam to your left. <laughs> oh, boys, it was a pleasure. Thank, Thank you very much. This place is Wheel Dan. King, bro. You're the smallest dude. <laughs> Disrespect. <laughs> No, thank you very much. I really enjoy that. Oh, that you, now you gotta yell, that's a wrap, the top of your lungs. That's a wrap! <laughs> this is how he works on cars. He acted like he was gonna do it, he never did. Uh... <laughs>